Ladies, it's coffee time. Oh, it tastes so good right now. It's even instant coffee. I don't care. Here's what I've learned about instant coffee. For those of you who drink it or tolerate it, vanilla instant coffee is always good, regardless of the company. It could be called Swine Awful Coffee Bros Inc. And I would still buy their vanilla brand because I think it would possibly taste delicious, just like every other vanilla instant coffee does. Also, if you want to join the instant coffee drinkers, don't get the jar. The jar is the worst choice because it's a fine line. It's a fine line between this looks like about enough of the instant coffee. No, no, sir. It won't be. It won't be the right amount. It will always be too much. And then you'll pour in your hot water and your little tea kettle. You'll be like, oh, I'm using my tea kettle for more than just tea. Gosh, I'm just so, just such a responsible human. And then you'll go to drink it and it'll be as though you were drinking mud because you put too much in there. Don't get the jar, get the packets. The packets are the way to go. It's so much less headache. If you're gonna, look, if you're gonna have instant coffee, you might as well have everything just done for you, right? You might as well just be like, oh, hot water? That's easy, I make tea sometimes, you know? Or, you know, I just put water in a saucepan. Pfft, easy, easy, it's like making ramen. And then you go to your little packet and you go, I just need one of these. I just need a, nor a normal sized King Butt Touches mug. And I just pour in my coffee. And then I wait for the water. It's, it's beautiful, it's brilliant, it's wonderful. Look, instant coffee doesn't have to be hard. You could even heat up that water in the microwave. I don't care, I don't judge. I don't judge my fellow coffee drinkers regardless of what sort of coffee they decide to drink. I've talked about this for two minutes now. We need to move on. <laughs> I watched way too much elementary last night. Like considering how much I had to do today. I, I sat down. I was like, all right. Last night I watched the first episode. Tonight I'll watch the second episode. So I watched three episodes instead of one, which is like, you know more than double the amount that I had promised myself. But it was just so fun. And the cat, I tweeted about it at one point because I was literally, I was sitting in my, in my chair with my yellow contacts in because I just decided not to take them out because they were fun. But the cat in my lap, just pet, petting the cat while I watched elementary and I was like, this is the creepiest I've been in a long time. I feel very, feel very weird right now. But it was good. I, I'm liking that show a lot. Um, and then today I had, well, I had two shoots and one more thing to film. Um, the last thing to film was just Borderlands with Teary. So that was super fun because we love each other. And then um, the two shoots were at Maker today. And the way that I was dressed up was so funny to me. And I kept going to take pictures and couldn't. And you know why? Because I, I finally did it. I finally took so many selfies and pictures of my cat that my phone has no room anymore. It was heartbreaking. It was heartbreaking to go into my camera and have it say, you have no space available. And I was like, what? How is that possible? How is that possible? And the idea of going through and having to delete so many pictures of my face that I know are on there is shame. Is like, I felt preemptively ashamed. So I just didn't do it. <laughs> it's like, no, because it's not like, it's not like I take a lot of selfies and then post them anywhere. It's just sometimes people do my makeup and I think that's funny and then I take a picture but I don't post it anywhere or sometimes you know I dye my hair and I think oh I wonder how many pictures I have to take before there's one that really where you can really tell what color the hair is and so I take a million pictures of my new hair these are the things that I have to go through and delete and I just it's I feel ashamed I feel preemptively ashamed of myself and I just can't can't make myself do it so that's something I'm going to have to make myself do. <laughs> but that's okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, huh, Kitty? No, come here. No, come here. Just do it. Just jump up here. Come on, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. He 
the last, yes, there we go. The last three times that I have told him the sit command, he has done it. I would. Would you do it without a treat? Sit. I feel like he was about to sit anyway. Does that count? It doesn't really count. You're learning though. Every time, every time I've gone to give you a treat and I say sit, you sit. He just straight up sat on the stop button like a butthole. I was busy, I was busy telling everybody how great you are, how maybe you're learning commands like a puppy. Maybe that's why he got upset. He was like, and just <laughs> decided to sit on my keyboard. Whatever, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> I don't even remember. We were talking about you. I was about to say I don't even remember what we were talking about, but we were we were talking about my cat. Ah, oh, I'm taking too many selfies, guys. Selfie awareness. Don't take too many selfies, because it only leads to ruin, leads to sad times, and butts, and not good butts, bad butts. It's, it's just, it hurts in here. You know what doesn't hurt in here though? Leftover ramen. I'm so excited. I'm going to eat that. I'm going to go eat that and it's going to be great. Gosh. Because we got the, at ramenya, we got the, okay, it's called um, the tantan men and it's spicy egg flour soup with ramen in it. And then I add in corn. I know I've already told you this, but I just need you to realize that I have leftovers. <laughs> need you to realize that my life is, I've got cat hair all over me now. Need you to realize how great my life is right now. That I have egg flour soup to go and eat. Egg flour soup and I are best friends. If Thai iced tea and I are an OTP of mine, then there's a bro TP between me and egg flour soup. The number of times that I just, that I like, just, ugh, I want so badly to find a place that has amazing egg flour soup and I can never find it. And this is probably the closest that I'm ever going to get. But the number of times that I just go on delivery sites and go to a random Chinese food restaurant that I've never looked at before. And I think maybe this will be the one. And I get their family size egg flour soup, just in case, because what if it's delicious? Get their family size egg flour soup. And I try it. And then I like grate it. <laughs> and then I'm like, hmm, I don't know if this is good enough, but okay. It's just so good in Oregon. In Oregon, amazing egg flour soup everywhere. And now every place that I go here, has the same egg flour soup. It's like really yellow. Like the broth is super yellow and they put peas in there. I don't get it. I don't understand. It makes no sense to me. I'm like, do you put the little like pre-cut carrot cubes in your egg flour soup? Do you have no pride in your egg flour soup? It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> Guys, right here. It just hurts so bad. Oh no, I'm getting tired, I can tell. That's why I drink the coffee, so that I can make sure. I wanted to make sure that I could watch an episode of Elementary and not fall asleep. But it might be a lost cause. Judging by judging by right now what I'm finding funny, it might be a lost cause to, to attempt that. But that's okay. It's okay. It'll be a good night. Yeah. So, uh... I think that's it. I'm sure there were other things that I was going to say and then the cat stopped the recording and now I'm just all full of bubbed. So I'm going to go, but I hope you guys had a great day and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye bye. Mwah. You know, kitty.